Welcome to a lesson on the perpendicular bisector theorem. The goal of the video is to state and prove the perpendicular bisector theorem. This theorem tells us that if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints. So if we have this blue segment and this red perpendicular bisector, if we consider any point on the red line, for example, this point here and this point here, this theorem tells us that these two black points will be the same distance from the two endpoints. Or, or in other words, this green segment here is congruent to this green segment here, and this green segment here is congruent to this green segment here. Before we write our two column proof, let's talk about our strategy. So if we consider point C, we want to prove that the length of AC is equal to the length of BC, or that the segment AC is congruent to the segment BC, given that this red line is the perpendicular bisector of the blue segment. This is a pretty straightforward proof. If we know that the red line is a perpendicular bisector of this blue segment, that tells us two things. First, the segment AD is congruent to the segment BD, and that angle CDA and angle CDB are right angles, and therefore those two angles would be congruent. And then if we were to make a segment connecting point C to point A and point C to point B, you can see that we have two triangles that share side CD. And of course segment CD is congruent to itself, so by side angle side, these two triangles are congruent, and therefore side AC would be congruent to side BC. Let's go ahead and write this up. So we're given line CD is a perpendicular bisector of segment AB. And we want to prove that segment AC is congruent to segment BC. Let's go ahead and start by stating the given. Step two, we know that D is the midpoint of segment AB. This is by definition of the perpendicular bisector. And since D is the midpoint, we know that segment AD is congruent to segment BD. And this follows from the definition of midpoint. And we also know that angle ADC and angle BDC are right angles. And again, this is by definition of the perpendicular bisector. And then it follows that these two angles would be congruent because all right angles are congruent. So far we have segment AD is congruent to segment BD. And we have these two right angles which we know are congruent. And now because these two triangles share side CD, we want to state that segment CD is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. And now we have enough information to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCD, and that is by side angle side congruence. And now that we have these two triangles congruent, we know that segment AC must be congruent to segment BC, which is what we were trying to prove. And the reason for this is that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also congruent. So if these two segments are congruent, they would be the same length, therefore proving the perpendicular bisector theorem. I hope you found this proof helpful.